Hi, I'm Yaoundo. When real fish went extinct and cats became vegetarians, the official snack story was formed. We started making all sorts of different fish crackers. Come inside for a tour of our factory. Here we see the DNA scan of baby goldfish born in Czech Republic. This device ensures that they are born exactly as they should, based on the law of segregation. Ah, uh, yes. The law of segregation states that a diploid organism passes a randomly selected allele representing a trait to its offspring. Alleles are one of two or more alternate forms of a gene found in the same place on a chromosome. For example, one fish cracker might have a pretzel allele on a certain location on a chromosome, while another has a cheese allele in the same spot. Diploid organisms have pair chromosomes, one chromosome from each parent. Each chromosome is made of protein in a single molecule of DNA. The DNA contains specific injections that make each organism different. As seen in the Punnett square, a red fish and a blue fish have a red and blue allele. Since blue fish alleles are dominant, they overpower red recessive alleles, and the result is a blue baby fish cracker. Now arriving at the scanner are two pretzel fish crackers. As you can see, pretzels are recessive traits. A recessive trait only appears in an offspring when it has two of the same recessive allele, which means the outcome will be a baby pretzel fish. It's as simple as that. Two fish crackers go in and a baby fish cracker comes out after being scanned. Each part of the helix is a different trait. Here comes a baby pretzel fish cracker. She will now be taken into the nursery. While in the midst of filming the documentary about this factory, a new problem arose. The scientific law has been broken. We never imagined that our world would be any different until just three days ago on March 16, 2008. Our poor witness here was just doing her everyday job, monitoring the DNA scan when it all blew up on her. Unfortunately, no video evidence was recorded of this day, and therefore the witness and her crew are doing a reenactment of it. Another day, another fish cracker, and the helix spins. No way! The helix is spinning the opposite way, and the lights are going crazy! There must be a malfunction in the machine! Wait, what is that coming out of the scanner? That's not a fish cracker, this is a gummy worm! You've got to be kidding me! This is a scientific felony! Don't get so hysterical. I'm sure customers will love new I'm Center catalog. I'm positive we can get more sales and come via oh fish all snackery. No way that will work! Fish crackers are our specialty! I thought there was something fishy going on, but soon realized something went haywire when even the cat working at the station was shocked. I tried to get me one snack, and I was so surprised. It was sweet and delicious, and that it was impossible for something to be more scrumptious. A gummy worm as the offspring of a salty and enchilada fish cracker? This goes against the whole ideology of the law of segregation. Everyone gets their genes from their parents, but this gummy worm shares none of its parents' traits. In theory, we thought breaking the law of segregation would ruin our company. It was furry unfortunate that our employees absolutely hated the new snacks. I like my fish crackers! Wah! After all, eating fish crackers gets scale crushing after a while, and the new snack options we have are pretty enticing. These vegetarian cats were fanatic for new foods, so the variety was beneficial to our sales. And here are company sales for smart. As you can see, sensor gummy worms, popcorn, chocolate candies, and catapulting through a roof.